Hi folks, so today's video is going to be on the clearance village of Boraig. So on the Isle of Skye, there's a village that was cleared of its people to make way for sheep in the 1850s. Its name was Boraig. The people that lived here would have been farmers and clansmen and they would have had their own lives and their own stories. But now sadly all that remains of these people and their, you know, their, their family lands are just sprinkled ruins that were left behind. Um, even to this day, the Highlands never recovered from the clearances. It's really sad because most of Scotland's uh, lands are actually just barren now. They've got no people on them, and most of the Highlands is uninhabited. Same with the Islands as well. Um, it's really sad because at one point the Highlands would have been teeming with life. You would have had clans, you would have had... Laird, you would have had, you know, all manner of people coming and going. And now it's just sprinkled ruins up and down the highlands. So most of the people that lived here would have immigrated after being cleared of their lands by the agents of Lord MacDonald, who owned these lands. So most of the people that lived here in the 22 houses that are in the area were mainly crofters. But not every adult's occupation was a crofter. Some were agricultural labourers, farm servants and even some fishermen and a carpenter. So the people that lived here would have most likely ended up in Australia or at least the research that I was able to do into this I found out that a lot of the, the people were in a, a scheme that was able to resettle some 5,000 Highlanders and Islanders in Australia. So there's a good chance they went to Australia. They could have went to America or Canada but, yeah, there's a good chance they went to Australia. The saddest thing about this is that the the sheep that were supposed to take over and graze the land, there's only around 300 remaining, and they're mostly wild. Um, in 1910, the sheep farming house was abandoned, and the land is still just derelict to this day. Um, it's about eight or nine miles away from the nearest settlement, so if you are going to attempt to go, to go here... Um, it is a fair walk, so just be prepared for that. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everyone has a great day.